Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today we're going to take a look at one of the favourite scales of a certain Mr Satriani. I'm talking about the Lydian mode. It really is um, evocative of his style of playing when you start fooling around with it. Uh, which hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to do. Now, one thing that used to confuse me with modes back in the 80s when I was reading Guitar Player and Guitarist magazine every month is that you would, you know, kind of come across an interview with someone like uh, Joe Satriani or, you know, Steve Vai or any other kind of big shredders of the day and there'd be quotes like, yeah, I just love the sound of the Lydian mode, that's why I used it for this solo in this song or something like that. So you tend to get the impression or form the impression that um, you can just run out with these modes anytime you feel like it, anytime you want to uh, create that sound. Uh, but it's a little bit more involved than that. You really have to start seeing the music in more of a three-dimensional way, uh, which includes looking at the chord sequence. So that is where we're going to start today. Let's have a look at how you derive a Lydian mode chord sequence. Okay then, these are the chords in the key of E major. Or to put it another way, these are the chords that you can make out of the notes of an E major scale. But what we're going to do here is instead of focusing on the E chord, as would be the conventional way of doing it, we're going to reorientate or rearrange the key of E major so that we're focusing on the fourth chord in the key, which as you can see is an A major. Basically what we need to do is create a chord sequence which is centred around that A major chord, where that chord sounds like the musical centre of gravity, if you like. Okay, when we do this, this is known as the A Lydian mode. And what I'm going to do in order to make uh, a chord sequence focus on that A chord is I'm going to keep the root note of that chord, an A root note, uh, underneath all of the chords in the chord sequence. So here it is, you can see that we have an A major chord at the beginning. Uh, then we go to a B major chord, but the bass note stays on an A. Then we go to an E major chord, but the bass note stays on an A. I'm sure you get the idea by now. All the way through this chord sequence, the bass note is just thumping away on an A note. And that gives us a chord sequence which sounds like this. So now you have a pretty good idea of what the Lydian mode sounds like. Now let's look at how to play some lead guitar over this. Okay, the first port of call for any analysis of what you're going to do in terms of lead guitar is to take a look at the chords that you're going to be playing that lead guitar over. So here are the chords in that jam track, that Lydian jam track that we've uh, looked at. Now any chord is nothing more than just a group of notes, so let's look at this chord sequence now in terms of the actual notes that are in these chords. And you can see that lurking within all of these chords there are the five notes of the A major pentatonic scale, which would be the core scale for any uh, improvising over any chord sequence where A major is the uh, tonality chord. Here's how you could play that. But it also becomes apparent that there are more than just the pentatonic notes happening within the chord sequence. The G sharp note, for example, that you can see in the E major chord, and the D sharp note that you can see in the B major chord. How about if we add those into the pentatonic uh, shape that we looked at a moment ago, starting with the G sharp. <laughs> And 
then let's add the D sharp in as well. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call the A Lydian mode. And of course, it goes without saying that um, what you've done to that particular pattern of the pentatonic scale there is something that you need to do with every other pattern of the pentatonic scale. Uh, just basically look for uh, where all the G sharp and D sharp notes are in the vicinity of the uh, different patterns of the pentatonic in A major and then add them in and you suddenly have um, A major mode fingerings that you can use over that jam track. Uh, speaking of the jam track, uh, here's a short solo that I did over the top of it um, using all of those uh, patterns that uh, I've been talking about. Uh, you'll notice that there's a key change uh, in there as well, where basically we go from A Lydian up to C Lydian. So all you've got to do there is just shift all of your um, A Lydian uh, shapes up three frets and suddenly you're in C Lydian. Anyway, here's the solo. <laughs> jam track there is available from uh, for download from the description box below this video if you want to try putting some of this newfound Lydian mode knowledge uh, to good use there is also another section in the in the jam track uh, kind of a bridge section where it goes to G Lydian as well so you know do all of your um, kind of figuring out and work out what notes need to add into uh, a G major pentatonic to get G Lydian or you could just take your A Lydian uh, fingerings and move them all down two frets and you're going to be fine and that's pretty much about it for today I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it, found it useful informative and maybe even a little bit inspiring if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you will never miss another one like it and of course I will just give a plug for my guitar tuition um, if you are wanting some tailored one-to-one -one guitar lessons then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson. Or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype. And whichever way you do it, your first lesson is free. And I do also uh, do gift vouchers if you want to buy that special someone, that special guitarist in your life, um, some guitar lessons for Christmas coming soon apparently and with that i'll wish you all a good day thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you all again next time around bye for now folks <laughs>